Now, a section of members of the Coalition for Reforms and Democracy Code have opposed the move by the Speaker of the National Assembly to suspend the General Oversight Committee, which was to grill Cabinet Secretaries every Tuesday. The legislators have termed the move as a breach of separation of powers, saying the President should have gone to court instead of directing the Speaker to suspend the committee. We are worried that President and the Speaker, by extension, is taking away the gains made under the Constitution and those that are important in the standing orders. We sh should anyone have a problem with the establishment of committees of the general oversight, that person ought to have gone to court and not the Speaker being summoned to State House or communication uh, coming in the manner it did this afternoon. Article 124 of the Constitution gives Parliament exclusive powers and mandate to create committees and standing orders for the orderly conduct of parliamentary business. The doctrine of separation of powers is actually a principle of law. There is no provision in our Constitution which, says, which refers to the doctrine of separation of powers because ultimately the three arms of government are a trinity of sorts. And the ultimate goal of the three arms is to build synergy. And this synergy is about giving service to the people of Kenya.